Today we need to talk about something Jimin said about relationships that got people upset. We also have a Sasang posting about V in bed with another idol, and then we have an injury that happened and what this is about. So, hey, dumplings, this is Dave. Just I hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, it's Haste Blink Buck merch, and let's go. Recently, people have been very scared and worried about IU. She recently announced something during Shuka So Shutita that was very shocking, and people can't believe that it's true, and also very worried for her safety. Just a bit of context, IU has gotten injured before when she got a scar that lasted a month. She was filming a movie called Dream, and she ended up getting a scar on her face. She was doing a romantic scene, and a mountain mosquito bit her. These are very dangerous and can cause a huge swelling, which is exactly what happened to her. IU said she was aware that the mosquito was biting her or landed on her, but didn't want to interrupt the scene or interrupt her co-star's emotions, because sometimes you get a perfect take and you definitely don't want to redo that over a mosquito. However, especially since it was a really bad mosquito, having a huge bump on the face would ruin several more scenes after that. Thankfully, while she said she did sustain a scar, it seems the rest of the bump or whatever wasn't too bad, and you can cover scars with makeup. For this, people were worried because it showed that IU would rather get injured than ruin her craft, so people are scared of what else she might be doing, with others worried about how she must act for her own concerts and shows. During an episode of Suji Ta, Ayu talked about her concert lengths. She does extremely long concerts, sometimes spanning five hours, given most concerts are an hour and a half, and very long ones are considered three hours, five hours is a lot. And there were fans concerned over if she was even eaten beforehand, because a lot of idols don't get enough time to eat or any time to themselves until after the shows are over. So imagine being hungry and then doing another five hour set of really hard exercise before you eat. This is a one-way ticket to fainting. And so this has been a big concern with IU's set and her working like this. I don't think anyone is forcing her to work like that. I think she is doing that herself and is happy to do it because she's probably happy to be on stage, but it's moments like this that make people very concerned with her doing this. Fortunately, IU hasn't faced any major medical issues when performing. And I say major because she could face issues that we can't see and don't know about. So like little cuts or sprains, but this is very normal when it comes to performing and oftentimes they just deal with it backstage and it's never reported on the news or causes any issues with future shows so we have no idea if it actually happened or not. But overall she is healthy and she is definitely taking care of herself because she has never had those issues. Knock on wood. She is aware the set is long and that means that she has to be preparing backstage by either eating or doing whatever she needs to do. Idols do take care of themselves even the ones that faint a lot because if they don't at least take care of themselves with their long schedules then they would not be with us anymore. Their heart wouldn't be able to take it. This is also why I am somewhat happy when I hear that BTS members are enlisted because their activities in the military are nothing compared to what they deal with as an idol. And a lot of the idols work is more mental thing than physical, so they can handle the military easy and they would actually be eating healthy regularly and sleeping well compared to when they were working. However, since BTS has left, we have seen a lot of clips that have resurfaced or were just released of them that are shocking people. Jimin, during one of his last talks before he enlisted, he talked about something people were very curious about. He mentioned that he can't share too much personal details, but talks about personal relationships being the most difficult and precious. Immediately, everyone thought that he he was talking about a romantic relationship. And I can't understand that assumption as it sounds like a romantic relationship to me. Because if it was a friend relationship, why would he need to preface it as not being able to say much? However, I do think he could still be talking about a friendship because it could be a friendship situation that he wants to keep private. It's a very personal friendship situation, but everyone was thinking that he was talking about dating. And this made some people mad. However, people get mad at the idea of him dating, even though he has not said that is stupid. Also, the boys have mentioned wanting to be with a lover before and just not having time or whatever it is. So even if Jimin was talking about that, I don't think it's worth getting upset about. But I want to say beyond the stupidity that there is a lesson for everyone to know and something worth talking about. Personal relationships are the most difficult. People are selfish and there's bound to be people thinking you're not giving them enough attention when in reality you're busy. Many of these idols and people you admire in entertainment barely have enough time for themselves, let alone be able to carve out enough time to engage with others or maintain their existing relationship. The last thing the idol probably wants to think about after a long day at work is to deal with drama or just the things that come with a relationship. They would much rather have those five minutes to themselves. I can see relationships being an issue with BTS because relationships are a huge issue for people who 
are not as busy as BTS and, and how K-pop idols are. So imagine dealing with the things you deal with. Also have to manage a multi-million dollar company, which is what these idols and, and BTS does. It's not impossible, but it's exhausting and probably makes the members not want to engage in any romantic or platonic relationship. This is not to add to the fact that even a group that has seven people in it are going to face drama within the group. Arguments, disagreements, anything, and so that requires attention and time as well. However, dating rumors will follow because I think half the fandom likes the idea of their favorite celebrities being happy and finding love. We tend to live vicariously through those Hollywood relationships, so we like to see them do well. And the other half don't want to see their favorite idol date because they want to date them, and that is when you get into unhealthy obsession. I mean, both of them could be unhealthy depending on how far you take either one. However, the second one is very unhealthy if you truly believe that you will marry or date the idol. Now, there is a X or Twitter account, which I won't post the name of, but the account likes to post things as a sasang and post summaries and updates that make it look like they might know something in the industry, and they might, who knows, but I think it's weird that someone that is in those rooms with those famous idols would be leaking the information because there's only so many people in those rooms. It would be easy for the idols they're posting about to possibly know who is leaking the information. But anyway, what did they leak? Apparently they mentioned that V had slept with someone that had slept with a Thai idol and then now made her a household name due to her appearance on a TV show. Of course, everyone believes this is referencing Jenny and it's interesting because people think Kai is Thai, but there's actually no real posts or evidence about that. Some people even think that he's half black or something. So there's been a lot of speculation. However, going by the rumor V sleeping with Jenny, it has made the internet very divided and a lot of opinions. The post went viral and people had a lot to say about V's activities. Now under the post or under these types of posts, people always scream invasion of privacy or who cares? Well, it's not an invasion of privacy if it's fake. So people believe it's real and then they comment because they actually care. And those who say who cares, they are the ones that care. Because if I post a video of me lying on the grass for 40 minutes, no one will comment and no one will watch it because actually no one cares about that. That video of me lying there would not go viral. That is the level in which people need to stop caring about dating for this stuff to actually not matter because people want to say that they don't care but then they actually really do care. More people are going to make up stories or say whatever they want because they know it'll get attention. Bottom line is I don't tend to believe what I read online or that a specific X or Twitter account would know more than the general public. I also don't think it's something that if true, it should be looked as as a scandal. This is literally victim blaming here. The idols become a victim of the intense saucings who want to date them. And because those saucings throw a temper tantrum at idols who want to date, the fandom and industry decides to crucify the idol. When in reality, it's these saucings that need to go to jail or told to shut up. And only us as the audience have the power to shut those saucings up online up. So let's band together and do it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check on Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for still the comment right here. Love you, bye.